Welcome to day 74 of my 100 days of Firefly journey. So today I was at the FinSuite Jungle Jam event. It was super awesome meeting everyone. I finally got to meet the FinSuite team, the people behind the great stuff that we use every day. So today we're gonna have a look at one of the FinSuite attributes, powerful rich text. Now I'm building a project for a client and I'm using this attribute because I need to call out different components inside the rich text so that I can have different components on different CMS pages. I can have different items, I can have different layouts. So with the powerful rich text, you can do that because you just need to call these items from the CMS editor itself. So let's see this in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffle journey. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look at the powerful rich text. Now, if you're not aware of the FinSuite attributes, FinSuite made an attribute product that can do a lot of things just by using attributes. Uh, attributes are easy to set up in Webflow. You just basically go to the to the settings panel and you see custom attributes. You can add this to any element on your page and then you can get the power of whatever they're giving you. Now today we're gonna have a look at powerful rich text and I think this is one of the most powerful, truly powerful attributes or products. So first we'll need to copy this code. So I think I've already done that on my project. Now you need to go to pages. Now this is a CMS page that I wanna customize. So I'm just gonna add this to my CMS page itself. So I go to the CMS collection page, I click on settings and I go down and I add it inside the hashtag. Now that I have this here, I can start adding the rich text. Uh, I can start making the rich text powerful, adding the powerful rich text. So let's add that. Let's have the rich text here. Uh, now let's give it the attribute. So if you read here into the documentation, so you see that I need to add this attribute to my rich text so that it becomes powerful. So let's add this and then this one will be called rich text. And um, following this example. And then I can now uh, customize this, add HTML directly inside the rich text. So for example, Broadway Museum Park. So this is a very powerful rich text. And then let's add some HTML. So H1, for example, actually let's just copy this one. Okay, so this one, actually, I want this center left. So H1, the style is blue. It's center, uh, text aligned to the left. And the font family is Arial, and it says, welcome to this wonderful world of Webflow. So let's see this in action. So if we go to, which one was it? Broadway Museum Park. Uh, this is the rich text. Now I need to get this rich text from the CMS. So this is the block. Now you see it's just a text here and like some line of code, but then when we publish and see this line of code in real life, because again, Webflow doesn't show you like live JavaScript, it just shows live CSS. So when we publish, you can see that it's taking the shape, it's taking the size of the H1, it's taking the color that I wanted, it's aligned to the left, just like I wanted. Let's test even this even further. Let's see if we add, um, I think I have it here somewhere. Say if we add this button. So this is a button, it has a background, it has padding, it has cursor. So let's try this out. Let's add this button and we can save. And let's have a look. We refresh and now you see you have this button. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffle journey. See you tomorrow.